Rise and shine, it's Monday morning. Time to get that mental flex. Motivation style in three, two, one. Brought to you live from the CCMIndiana.com studios. It's time for Money Maker Monday. Hey, hey, Tyler Davis and Greg Thomas back here again. Good morning. Yes, indeed. This week's a little fun. I, you know, this is something like, you know, that we talk about and we just do, and it's one of those autopilot things. And, you know, and I, I feel like we're uncovering a lot of those, you know, instances where you can be like, hey, oh, man, I, I just say it. Habitual actions. Yeah, yeah. right. You're like, oh, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, this, you it's, know? Yeah, it's a natural part of conversation when you first meet somebody. It is like some kind of a, like protocol almost yep. for like, you know, conversation. Like, oh, hey, da, 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 you know, so-and-so. Today, we're going to do a little new angle, right? Three ways you should think twice before name dropping. It's not always the best thing to do, but we do it. Yeah, you do it before you even think through it. Oh, hey, you know Bob or Sarah or whatever? You know what I mean? Yeah. Got my buddy Andre down here. Come on, man. Like, you're just like, you just naturally do it. Right. You know, and I've noticed sometimes that that doesn't always go well. Mm -mm. Mm. Right? Not the way you intended anyway. Well, and we can learn that the hard way, but then we still repeat it. Because you haven't laid new fiber optics yet, right? right? We all got the new wiring. Yeah. Still going off uh, old software. Yep. You know? So hopefully today's little message can help you create some new software. Maybe just stop for a half a second and like just kind of maybe create your own merit, your own connections on your own, you know? Yeah. So today, three ways you should think twice about name dropping. Number one, name dropping is like a shortcut to connection or credibility. Yeah, it is. You're like, yeah. well, hey, I think this person's cool, so you must think they're cool too. Right. Riding on their coattails. Oh, it is kind of. It can be, it can or be. it can be pulling the rug out from your own feet. It is, you know what I mean? And versus just start asking some questions, you yeah. know what I mean? Like I saw something that was really cool. It said, you want to know how to get people interested in you? Be interested in them. Correct. Maybe we start with some questions. Show genuine interest in them. Well, sure. And then you're going to get that reciprocated back versus just kind of taking the shortcut around like, hey, right. you know, what about Bob? You and, know, Bob? And make a real connection. Real connection. Not that it wasn't, that wasn't like kind of bridged or parlayed off of, you know, somebody that you know. And it and not to say that anybody's going to be perfect in those situations. But, yeah. you know, if you can just kind of be mindful, like, hey, why don't I just stop that put that on hold for a second and just really work on yeah. connecting circle back to it exactly so number one name dropping is a shortcut to connection and credibility yep. so just kind of don't you know, think twice number two not everybody likes apples no no what about them cherries over there oh i know but like hey man it's like hey i don't even like that dude i don't even like that gal you know what i mean so you don't even know that until you get a facial expression back or some type body of language body language yeah, just like eh. yeah it's like how you many know? times have you said that and you're like oh yeah, could have done without that, right? <laughs> when we're name dropping, we shouldn't assume that everybody has had the same experience there it is. that you've had right. with that individual. Yes, most definitely. There's so many backlines to the story that you have no idea what all those factors are. Oh, no. Like, you know, how were those conversations? Did, you know, you catch this person on a bad day right. and they just didn't hit it off or there's something, you know. Yeah, and then you immediately yeah. take on that same experience oh, on sure. their internal wiring. Oh, yeah, and that's a different kind of coattails, right? Yeah, you weren't is. necessarily looking for that vapor trail. It doesn't feel like. <laughs> coattails feels like a vapor trail doesn't it <coughs> oh yeah, yeah like exactly man. oh well that didn't go that well huh. yeah. so again remember not everybody likes apples so just because you had a good experience with somebody doesn't mean that they did or even met them at all yeah right when and that, then it can make it awkward that does make it awkward oh you don't know bob yeah like damn i could have sworn oh, i saw you were facebook friends oh yeah exactly it just makes it it can make it weird yeah. right you know so just remember not everybody likes apples you know again dive into true connections okay and lastly Give people a chance to paint their own picture of you. Clean right? slate. Clean slate. Like, don't get tethered to anybody else, their experiences with somebody else. Give them an opportunity to see you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, man. Give them a, a, a brush, clean canvas. Right. Let them paint their own picture. Be seen without a filter of somebody else. Yeah. Right? You know, you just don't know how that's going to go. Right. Right? So, three reasons you should think twice about name dropping. Number one, name dropping is a shortcut to connection and credibility. Number two, not everybody likes apples. And number three, give everybody a chance to see you for you as you without the veil of anybody else. Correct. Hopefully this helps. We'll catch you next time. I want to take a quick minute to thank our sponsor, ccmindiana.com, for all your mortgage needs. Very competitive, ready to rock, ready to help you be a pre-approved buyer that can compete. Ready to get pre-approved for your next mortgage? Stop by ccmindiana.com and see how we can help.